Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's been a couple days, been doing a lot of things around the house getting set up, but we're gonna cover the S&P 500 and the triple Qs. Um, it's gonna give us some indication of where I think some of the other uh, stocks are headed. So, you know, Apple and Nvidia, we're gonna take a big look at today. Um, so right now I have these moving averages here. Change the colors a little bit for you so it's a little easier to see on the video. Um, but we have the uh, seven day moving average and the 20 day moving average um, and then the TSI down here and then for volume we got the VRVP and then we just got a histogram right here now this is actually the MACD histogram um, but I took out the lines here because we have the TSI so basically what's going on right now with the markets overall is generally if you just pull up the S&P 500 now we did have this pretty big green day today but it is pretty much being held up by a couple of techs, um, tech tickers. Now, today was a pretty green day overall, um, but still it's being held up a lot by Apple, Nvidia, and a couple of those big ones, Google, Amazon, okay? So um, overall the market isn't extremely healthy, although we are trying to break out right now. So if we just bring up a trend channel, or excuse me, a resistance line real quick, you see, Right here, we're trying to just push over that uh, four, let's see what we got, like about 422, and we're at about 419 right now, so we're approaching that, and this is on the weekly right now for the S&P 500. So one thing I really like to just take a look at uh, with these moving averages is uh, the crosses, okay? So especially if you go down to the one day, so let's just bring up the one day real quick. And you can see, if we just fix this a little bit, you can see is once these lines crosses, it does start to indicate a little bit of a change in direction. Now you can use these to place smaller moves or you can use them to indicate an overall larger trend. So if we just bring up a larger trend like this, we do have an uptrend on the S&P 500 that has gone back all the way since, I guess, October of 2022. And we got another one right here with that resistance line going across like that, right? So a key point is to break that 422 mark and we could potentially see us going all the way up to the about 430. Now there is a previous resistance right here at about uh, exactly at 430 actually. So that is gonna most likely be where the next resistance is, which is, uh, let's see, right about over here. It was created back in August of 2022. So quite a bit of a ways away. So the market just went sideways for a really long time and then we started to just break out right now and nvidia let's bring that up next and you can see nvidia just broke right through this uh resistance right here and i talked about in my previous video that this is really just starting to act as a support now so we can't really consider it a resistance anymore i did have shorts open on nvidia i had to just close them out for for a loss um, but again, that's why you scale in, right? So one of the things I really like with this setup right here is uh, this, the tickers like NVIDIA where there's high amount of volume, you can really make some huge moves. And if we just kind of calculate some percentages here, you know, if you went long back in January with this first crossed, you're going all the way up. We're at a 97, 98% increase right there. Um, and you can even do these small ones right here. Let's bring that up one more time. And this small move up right there. It's a 38% move. So that's huge. And I think that's why a lot of people like to play NVIDIA. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for, let's just zoom out real quick. I'm looking for these technicals to change right here before I end up going any more short. I'm out of it right now. I don't think there's a lot of upside as I've talked about in my previous videos. I don't think there's a lot of upside. I think it is a high risk to get into this right now. I think we're in the FOMO stage. Um, and so what I'm waiting for is if you bring up the TSI, I'm waiting for this to roll over. Let's bring this down a little bit. So you see these inflection points right here and right here and right here where it's way overbought and that's what I'm waiting for and I really wanna see that red cloud. And we can bring up the Heiken Ashi candles real quick to see where we're at. And there's just objectively, there's just nothing telling us to go short. And let me just go through that real quick. So Heiken Ashi candles, strong green uptrend, 
that's not an indication to go short. We're above both of these moving averages after the cross, not a reason to go short. And then we're still blue on the TSI. And if you can actually see it down here on this histogram, we had some slowing down in momentum. And that is when I went short and I explained it was a little bit of a higher risk to go down or to enter a short at this point. And you can see this uh, darker green um, mark on the histogram here showing that there is just a continuation so far. Now we did reach all the way up to 318 on the Heikinashi candles before falling back down to 301. Um, but it, again, it's not really great to go short as of right now. Now let's bring up Apple and Apple is the one that I, one of the few that I think is really holding up the market. It's right at this resistance line. And if we go back to the candles right now and go down to the daily chart, you can see that the momentum has been slowing down a little bit, except for today, we got another sort of bounce. So you can see a little bit of a breather here and then a bounce out. So this, if you, and if you look at the VRVP, there's not a ton of volume above here. So you actually could play this as a long, except you just got to be careful because it is overbought right here. Um, so what I'm really going to be looking for is to get these price actions on NVIDIA, Apple, um, Amazon, Google to really just go under and cross, have these moving averages cross and have the... TSI show red and that is going to be a good indication to go short so don't go long in my opinion or at least I should say that I'm not going to go long in this market right now I am going to wait till a little bit of a breather things will correct a little bit you can even see back on the previous bull run here where we had these long uptrends and then a little bit of a breather and then a, a cross back up and then a cross back up is where you want to go long. Now with this setup, it's kind of tricky to determine whether or not you're in an uptrend or a downtrend. And that's why uh, one indicator you can use is the Ripster clouds. Now it does have uh, many different clouds, but this is uh, one of the more broader ones that shows the overall trend. And so the rule that you can do is you can go long when you're above and you have a green cloud here, and you can go short when you're crossing below these moving averages under the red cloud, all right? So uh, let's just finish up with the triple Qs real quick. And again, you can see that the next resistance, because we actually did just blow right through this previous resistance right here. So the next resistance we have is going to be, let's just zoom out and let's look at the VRVP and our previous highs. We're looking at about uh, 368. So we have some room to run potentially, um, but right now it is not safe to go short. It's kind of a little overbought, but yet not showing a sign to go short. So maybe it's a good advice to just sit on the sidelines right now and wait for things um, to really show a very clear direction. Um, the time to get in to go long would have been at least down here at about 294 on the triple Qs or just really just any of the tech sector. All right, so that's what I got so far. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all my latest content and until then we'll see you next time thank you